I was recently in Europe for an archaeological project that was taking place in Catalonia, Spain, and I'd like for a minute to talk about the castle that overlooked the village that I was staying in while I was there. It's called Castel de Buriac. Here you can see it from below. It was built probably sometime in the 10th century. The first mention of it comes from the year 1017, under the name Castel Sant Vicenç. The castle, as it exists today, follows its 15th century floor plan, with the winding exterior curtain walls and the chapel which were added then. The chapel was apparently built on part of the original fortifications from before its expansion. Today, it is one of the only two buildings with any degree of preservation, and serves as a window with quite a pleasant view. It was actually in operation all the way up until the 19th century. I can only imagine that it ceased its function due to the hassle of the hike up from the village. The hike is quite short, but I still don't think I'd fancy making the trek for church every Sunday. On the way up, however, you may come across these very obviously man-made retaining walls. I'm told that underneath the hill of Buriac is more of the ancient Iberian settlement that we were excavating while I was there, though some of these walls I doubt are truly ancient. Here we can see some defensive works. This is an arrow slit. It's narrow at the front so that opponents couldn't shoot into it, but the defenders could have a wide field of view. Now you get to bear witness to some of the grunts as I attempt to climb higher in the large uneven stones. Oh, a little bit of a scramble, that's all right. They've gotten rid of the old easy access routes. All right, I have some pre preserved crenellations. They're called that because if they have crenelles. A crenelle is this gap here. The gap sits between two merlons here, there. You can hide behind the merlons. Crenellations, though a very common type of medieval fortification, are not on every medieval defensive work. The donjon, great tower of this particular castle, doesn't have them, and, according to archaeologists, never did. More important to the defense of this particular castle is its position and the steep cliffs that surround it. You can see here, as I've clambered onto a small rock sitting, well, here, right at the edge of this cliff, it's not quite so far down as it looks, but I still would not particularly love to try to bring an army up to assault this wall that doubtless, when the castle was fully built, would have been quite significantly higher. This is a bit better, but I'm not sure if that path is where the ancient or medieval one would have been. And then even if you get into this courtyard, there's the rock I was sitting on, you still have to attack there through the one narrow door that uh, looks to be rather well defended. Castel de Buriac has a number of other points of interest in various states of preservation, from the lower courtyard divided into different rooms and sections, the large wall of the surviving section of the residential wing, which includes that chapel I mentioned earlier, and the Don Jean, the to tallest tower of the castle, which you will be quite familiar with by now, as I've been using its image to hide my poorly conceived vertical camera work. Sorry. The Don Jean has these uniquely shaped arrow slits, different from the rest of the castle, they look more like musical notes, though the rest of the tower is barred off, I'm not allowed to enter it. I can tell you that it's one of the later additions to the structure, but that's about all I got. Again, sorry. Lastly, I'd like to discuss this room I found on the south side of the castle, next to the donjon. It has these small clay 
things in the ground. They're all interconnected and buried quite significantly. I imagine they wouldn't have been when the castle was in function. But I'm not quite sure what they are. They give me a little bit of a puzzling. I would assume they are for storage of some variety. They're quite small. I don't know what they would be storing. Perhaps something to do with the kitchens. Could explain why it's connected to the residential area. But other than that, that's about all I got. I assume they're for storage of some variety, but for what, I couldn't tell you. Thank you.